today was going to be a big driving day. I was going to put in two, three hours of driving and get a little farther south in my little southern migration to uh, get away from cold and wet weather. But today is especially wet. Uh, it's not very cold out, but the rain is coming down pretty good and the highway is feeling a little bit dangerous. So for that reason, I've decided I'm not driving anywhere. So I've stopped in a little town of Scotia, and it's right off the 101 freeway here. And I've only ever stopped here for gas and moved on. I've never actually stayed here overnight. But the option of getting back on the highway uh, and dealing with rain and slippery conditions is not very appealing. So I think I'm just going to look around town here, see if I can find a place that I can park for the day and night. Uh, because it just seems like the best option. Okay, so I've just been looking at the map, and there is a little park here in town, uh, just a few minutes' drive away. So I'm going to go over there with the hopes that maybe the rain will let up at some point, and I'll be able to get out of the van and walk around. Uh, I don't want to sit in the van all day long. It's early yet today, so it'll be a long time being sequestered in the van. So I'm going to hope for a little break in rain, and uh, if there is, if I'm parked at that park, I'll be able to walk around. Uh, should be a nice spot because it's over on the Eel River. Uh, I don't know. Never been here, so we'll go and see what it looks like. But seems like my best option. So I just went into Hobie's here and bought some chips. Because I'm sure I'm going to want to snack a little bit if I am just going to be sitting in the van. Um, this always has seemed like a nice town, and especially because of the proximity to the Eel River. I've always wanted to spend some time here. Just wasn't expecting to spend time here today, but that's all right. The signs say no off-road vehicles, but you kind of need an off-road vehicle to get back in here, it seems. There have been some pretty big potholes. Oh, this is really cool. A bit of a rough ride getting back in here, but the rain is not quite so bad at the moment, so I might as well just walk around right now. There's a logging operation back there, so it's a little noisy here. Not quite the peaceful spot I was hoping for. And the parking is uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, I was getting some solar uh, parked out in town when I was back at Hobie's uh, grocery store, but um, I'm parked under these redwoods now, so I'm not getting any solar at the moment. So maybe not the perfect place, but what a cool park. Hey, look at that, a water spigot. I actually tried to buy some water at the uh, market a minute ago, but um, the machine was out of order. So there's a spigot, but there's no handle. <laughs> I think I'm okay with water. I just kind of, uh, I never know. So if I'm not sure where I can get water next, sometimes I just try to buy some. I can hear the river down here. Let's see if we can get to it. Well, the water I was hearing was obviously not the Eel River. This is a creek. Pretty just the same.
I just remembered I made a little mistake here uh, because I was supposed to be driving today and not out and about. I put my shoes on, my regular shoes on. These are not waterproof. Um, surprisingly, my toes don't feel wet yet, but the shoes look wet, so I don't really know how that's happening. Um, I do have some nice wool socks on. It's all I've been wearing the last several months. Uh, I wear them even in warmer weather. They just seem to be better for everything. So that may be saving me here. Now, I could be mistaken, but I think the Eel River is up ahead here. I have to check the map when I get a moment. But let's see if we can get down to the river. I really like finding spots like this, and I find it's easier when I don't have a real set plan on when I travel. Um, now I'm feeling kind of silly because it's hardly raining at all. Maybe I should just get back on the freeway and keep moving on. Uh, I did notice a few places in town that I could park overnight, so it uh, seems like a good place to stay, and the weather tomorrow is supposed to be a little better. Not supposed to be quite as rainy. So I need to think about what I want to do. I'm happy to be out and about though right now. Well, from the look of things off in the distance, it seems like there's more heavy rain on the way. And because this driveway is so bad, um, I don't think I want to stay here if the rain gets any worse. So I'm just going to head back into town. At least I got a little bit of a walk out and around. So I'm happy about that. But uh, I don't want to get stuck out here. So go back into town and think about what I want to do. was such a cool little find, though, I have to say. Okay, so back in town here, I'm just parked in a little plaza next to Hobie's Market, where I was earlier. Uh, I'm a little happier with this spot, mostly because I'm getting some solar, so that's good. Uh, not that I really need it. My uh, battery has been topped off for the last few weeks. Haven't had any trouble at all, even during the darker days. Um, that's something I've been thinking about as I've been traveling south here. I was thinking, at what point am I going to get where I'm going to notice a big increase in solar gain? Because I would imagine as I travel south and change the angle of the sun to where I am, I'm going to get to a spot where the solar is just going to be much better. And I'm not sure if I'm actually there yet, but uh, at least as far as the numbers are concerned, I haven't had any trouble with solar so far, so uh, maybe Humboldt is that point, that latitude point where I uh, I can be good on solar. I don't know. I have to keep an eye on that. Uh, what I do know is I'm almost out of coffee. In fact, my coffee from this morning is now uh, lukewarm, so time for coffee. Maybe time for some food, too.
I've got some guacamole here I'm going to snack on. Should cook something. I definitely need something warm to eat. Uh, this is that type of weather. But I opened this up last night for dinner, ate half of it, and it's already starting to turn brown, so I'll uh, finish it off with some chips here. I bought some uh, medium roast coffee at uh, Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's always has their coffee a little bit darker roasted than whatever the label says. So this is kind of a medium dark roast and I'm not enjoying it quite so much, but um, it's good on a day like today. If it's really cold and wet out, I seem to not mind a medium roast quite so much, uh, but I do wish it was medium and not medium dark. Um, but I knew that about Trader Joe's and their coffee, how they grade it. So I took a chance and it is tasty coffee. It's pretty good uh, tasting stuff. I just prefer the lighter roast stuff, but let's see how this goes down here since it is cold and wet out. Yeah, this'll do today, this'll do. I'm resolved just to stay here today. Uh, no real reason for me to move on. Um, the one thing I kind of need though is propane. I'm out of propane for my heater. Uh, I used to have a splitter so I could put a Y splitter on one of my tanks and be able to run my stove and my heater at the same time. That broke here recently and I just haven't replaced it yet. So I, now I'm kind of wishing I did replace it. Uh, get a replacement, but um, oh well. Uh, I do have a little green bottle of propane, but I'm kind of holding that for emergency use. Uh, it's not really that cold here. I think it's uh, the, the low I think tonight's going to be down 41, 42 degrees, so not too bad. Um, that's the nice thing about having cloud cover, is it at least stays a little bit warmer. Uh, so I don't really need the heat. But if I am cooped up just uh, working on my iPad, I kind of want some heat. So maybe I should do something about that. Or maybe I should just not think about it and uh, enjoy my coffee, get my work done. You know what would be really good right now are some nachos. I'm going to make some nachos because I've got these really good chips. And it will warm up the van a little bit. So solves my heat problem. Gives me a little something else to snack on. Um, I really should be working right now. <laughs> Distracting myself because I'm a little bit hungry. And so I've got a single layer of chips in my pan here. And then I'm just going to put on some cheese. And I'm just using sliced cheese because I don't have a cheese grater. Cheese graters are really hard to clean by hand. Um, if, I have a, if I had a dishwasher, of course I would have a cheese grater, but we like to keep things simple. So I'm just going to do a couple of layers of this. I'm going to do a little cheese and then uh, another layer of chips, another layer of cheese. And once I've got that going, I'll just cover this with, uh, just cover my pan with this bowl and let it warm up slowly and they come out perfect every time. Okay, I've got a couple of layers of chips and cheese in the pan here. Now I'm just gonna turn my stove on and I'm just gonna turn the heat as low as I can possibly get it. And then put the bowl on top. And this makes a little oven essentially. And it does take a few minutes. As long as I leave it on low, it will uh, create a little bit of heat circulating under the bowl here and melt the cheese. So now I can do a little work while this is going and then I can have a snack. Uh, I'm never going to get any 
actual work done today, am I? Just gonna keep uh, distracting myself, but that's okay. Okay, should be ready. Let's see how I did. That bowl's gonna be hot. Put that there in the sink. And yeah, I think I did all right. Maybe a little light on the cheese, but um, it looks good to me. All right, there we go. Now the one thing that I'm missing is some really good hot sauce. I ran out of yellow bird sauce quite a while back and I have not bought any more. That would be perfect on this right now. But these are pretty good just as they are. Well, the rain has stayed pretty steady here for the last couple of hours and I've gotten a little bit of work accomplished, but not as much as I really should have uh, because I'm cold and I'm thinking I want to go find some propane somewhere. I went into Hobie's Market here and asked them, I'm not sure if they're a part of the gas station over there. There's a Renner's gas station. I think they're different companies, but I asked them about propane and he said, uh, there's the next town over, which is Rio Dell. Is just a few miles away and he said the shell station there has propane so i think i'm just going to go buy some propane i really don't like being cold i do feel a little silly for wanting to go get some propane but i don't like being cold and really that's the whole point of me traveling south looking for some warmer temperatures uh, while I'm still in kind of cooler temperatures, I might as well just keep myself happy. So off to propane I go now. Okay, that worked out well. They saw me coming, they came right out, filled up both of my tanks. Now I just gotta get these stuffed back in under there. Okay, that was the quickest and easiest propane fill I have had in quite a while, and I've been getting a lot of propane lately. Uh, people are just so friendly here. Uh, it's part of the reason why I like Humboldt so much. Everybody around here is just so friendly. Now, Rio Del here is a slightly bigger town than Scotia, and it looks like it'd be a good place to park overnight, too. Uh, although, I think Scotia will be quieter, so I think I'm gonna just go back to Scotia. I think I'm just going to park right here. This is kind of a residential area. It's a house directly in front of me and then also some houses over here on the side. Uh, but there's a Scotia Lodge right behind me. I think technically this is their parking area, but it is a street. It's just a public street. So I'm going to just do this and see what happens. Um, I find that especially here in the Pacific Northwest, people are pretty relaxed towards van life. So I don't really worry about parking near houses or anything. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time and I've just never had any trouble. So this works for me. Listen to this great soundtrack. I hope it's coming through on the microphone. Uh, it's pretty loud. This is such a great sound. 
This is why I like the rain. It's just so relaxing listening to this. Um, especially when it hits on my roof. Of course, a big portion of my roof is covered up in a solar panel. So there's very little uh, area that the rain actually hits the roof. So uh, I kind of miss out on a little bit of that pitter-patter on the uh, on the metal ceiling of the van. But um, what little I get, I really like. Uh, I think it was a good decision to come back here to Scotia. Uh, I think it's a nice quiet town, so I should sleep well, although I have a little while before I need to go to bed. Uh, let's get some dinner started. Okay, I'm going to do some leftovers here. I've got some polenta that I opened up a few days ago. I need to finish it off. I'm, I didn't really care for it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I guess I'm just not a fan of polenta. But uh, I need to finish it, or else I'm going to have to throw it out. So I'll chop this up, brown it up, and then um, I have some hamburger meat here, which I'll use a little bit of, and then I will add some gravy. This is kind of leftovers, too, because I opened this gravy packet up and used half of it uh, a few weeks back. So... Um, clean up a little bit of the stuff. I'm not going to eat all of the ground beef. I'll just use part of it, but I need to get rid of some of this stuff instead of just leaving it sit, sitting around. So I'm cooking off this polenta in some butter and some olive oil just to give it a little more flavor. And I think it's about ready to go, so I'll uh, put this out onto my plates and cook up a little bit of this uh, grass-fed ground beef. And here's the end result. Uh, one thing I did a little different here was I had some tomato paste that I opened up quite a while ago and I needed to use that up as well. So I added a little bit of that to the meats once I got the meat cooked off and browned that up in the pan. And then I threw that gravy mix in the pan with the water. So I'm hoping it'll give it a little extra flavor. Let's give it a try here. Mmm. Yeah, that was good. I'm glad I had that tomato sauce or tomato paste. Um, that definitely helps out the flavor department. And this is much better. I like, uh, I actually like the polenta much better today. I guess I'll buy it again if I find it on sale. I bought that old one. I mean, this I bought months ago, I think back when I was in Truckee because it was on sale at a grocery outlet. And it's just been sitting around, and I finally got into it. Um, yeah, I think I'll not stay clear of uh, <laughs> of uh, polenta in the future. Still not my favorite thing, but it's awfully good like this. Well, thanks for watching. And I'm going to uh, sign off here and hopefully get back to my work and get my work done for today. Uh, as soon as I finish my dinner. This is kind of a small dinner for me. I normally eat my biggest meal of the day for dinner, and this is not much. Uh, could use a vegetable or two as well, but I uh, haven't got any at the moment, so um, I may need to make second dinner later. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.